global warming. Global warming is the increase of the average temperature of the Earth's surface. Don't you think that global warming is a big problem in our society today? So what can we do to stop it? Well, I think we can walk to school instead of taking a car. We can plant lots more trees. That has to be good for the environment. We can recycle our rubbish. So Matt, what do you think about global warming? It's uh, irrelevant. No, it's, um, I think it's true, but it's not going to affect me in any way. So if, if all the icebergs melt and New Zealand gets covered in water, it's not going to affect you? Or are you just a I, don't, I, don't, I don't think the whole of New Zealand's going to be covered in water. That's just getting a little ridiculous. Can you stop with these ridiculous ideas? The water level ain't going to go past Mount Cook, is it, Alicia? No, probably not. Just stop with the uh, ridiculous questions, please. <laughs> um, do you do anything to help this this with that? Like, do you recycle? Do you yes. Um, a little bit of wind. I drink water. Does that help in any way? <laughs> Reducing the water level so it doesn't overtake Mount Cook, maybe. The impetus has to come from governments, and they're the ones that have to lead by giving incentives to employers, businesses, people who who emit all the, the kind of gases and things that contribute to global warming. Oh. Yeah, so I think government should lead by giving incentives. Oh, that was a smart answer. By someone who drives 40 k's to school in the morning. Watch. What do you think about global warming? Well, I'm not really a big believer in global warming. And I've got a lot of information at home via the internet and also by true scientists that I really respect. And there are scientists that do believe in it and there are scientists that don't. I just think someone like Al Gore in the States is making an awful lot of money and I'm out of the world. And I really strongly feel very much that I'm against it. Thank someone you. else is someone else is making lots of dollars, okay? Thank you. Yeah, sure, we'll some we'll go has 13 glass, one overhead projector, one data projector, one record player, one fish tank, and of course the almighty blackboard. Da -da -da. This is quite a low energy consuming classroom as other classrooms may contain computers and smart boards which are actually not that smart. <gasps> September 2008 to the 30th of September 2008. That's 30 days. Why Mia College spent $12,015.08 on electricity. This is how we should be treating our trees. Not like this. Trees help to stop carbon emissions. Are you stupid or something? Over the school year, which consisted of 190 days, our school produced 5,941,720.59 tons of carbon. That is too much. <laughs> it's evil. This is how we should treat cars. <laughs> Not like this. The equivalent of 237,668,823 trees planted per year. I think we, we need to talk, talk to Mr. Ching about planting more trees. We have to.
to drive this man and cars to school each day? I don't think so. This is what our car park looks like now. But in the near future, if we don't change what we're doing with our carbon emissions, our car park could look like this. Without any choice. One car for the rich man. Actually, there's two there. And nothing for the rest. But of course, there's a green motorbike. But that's okay. Because it probably photosynthesizes, meaning it can create its own energy without using carbon. This is what our car park looks like now. But in the future, after all the carbon emissions and global warming, our park, car park, car park. Start from that car park.